What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Expanded Thursday. First off, make sure you go down below to the Facebook page. You go like the Facebook page and you go leave a comment saying what deck you want to see for Fan Friday or go vote for your favorite deck. So tomorrow's Fan Friday. And uh, we need some votes, so let's go vote. Let's uh, try to get a bunch of votes for Fan Friday, and let's see what can we get as the winner. Uh, but today, we're actually covering the first place Glisspot Zorak deck. And I know we've talked about this deck a lot in Standard, but Expanded is coming really soon. Like, we are about three weeks away from Dallas Regionals, which is Expanded. It's our next biggest tournament. And I think it is very good to talk about decks that are going to be really like uh, relevant in Expanded. I think we talked about this multiple times. And um, yeah, so today we're covering Zark, Glisspod. This deck actually got first place this past weekend at Elite Cup. It actually got first in top four, if I remember correctly. Uh, so yeah, it got top four and first place at two different League Cups. It was uh, piloted by Jose Marrero. Uh, and he also got his Worlds Invite off it. So he got 412 out of 400 now, making his sixth consecutive Worlds Invite. Uh, so congratulations to Jose. And thank you for sharing your list on the uh, Team ARG page. But today, we're going to cover his Glispod Zork deck. And it's a very kind of straightforward deck. Um, but they obviously some fan expanded stuff thrown into it. So he, we talked about yesterday about different Zoras, and we see he actually played this Zora, the Ram one. This is not the one I would play. I would actually play the flip one, um, the one that does 30 for the lunge. But it's fine. Whatever. We're going to play this one today. Uh, one Zork for that Mind Jack and standing ability. You'll be able to switch it from the bench to the active any moment you want to. And the Mind Jack 10 plus 30 for each of your bench, opponent's bench Pokemon. And of course, three Zork GX. This is going to be one of our main attackers. Has that trade ability, the riotous beating attack. And uh, don't worry about Trickster GX. We know this card does. One Sotobudo. Uh, for the mirror match, uh, this deck, I mean, this this card destroys, like, the mirror, especially when you're playing against a, a Skyfield variant, and they have, like, a, a full bench. You can use Stutter Widow, put them down to four, and make it where they really can't do any more damage, especially if they're limited on just their Zorx. While this deck, we actually are limited on our, we actually have a Glisspot and Zorx, we're not just limited to just our Zorx. Um, one execute, execute's really good for that propagation to return it back into your hand on your disco file and trade it away over and over again. Uh, playing a 3-2 Glissapod with that first impression attack, we, we know what this does. We know what Glissapod and Zork do. This is not nothing new. Um, we did play one Mew EX for that versatile. Uh, this Pokemon can use the attacks of any Pokemon to play both yours and your opponent. So now you can copy anybody's attacks. And the good thing about this is Buzzwall is definitely... You know, it's relevant nowadays. Uh, so with that Psychic Weakness, you can easily shut down or just kind of one-shot a Buzzwall. And they can't really one-shot you back. And then you take another knockout and you're looking good to go. Uh, one Oracorio. This is definitely for Night March. You use Supernatural Dance and put a bunch of damage counters on the field to knock out multiple Night Marchers. And uh, two Lele. So that's going to be all the Pokemon in the deck. Uh, it is a lot, but you do need a lot for that Zork to get out the Riotous Beating. I know we don't put your notice real quick. There's no Skyfield in this list. But if you do play against an opponent who has Skyfield, there's no reason to bump theirs. You kind of just use theirs instead, uh, which is really nice. Uh, but one computer search, of course, for consistency, probably one of the best A specs in the game, um, for sure. One E Hammer, you know, discard special energies, one Field Blower. And the reason why I can play those one ofs is because we do play four puzzle time to get 82 cards out of a discard ball. Uh, Stretcher, Ultra Ball, and four VS Seeker to reuse any supporter cards from a discard ball. Oh man, what a good time to be alive and expanded. Uh, but two Acerola. To Bridget, a uh, Colorus, because we are going to have a full bench of five at least. So we're going to be drawing a lot with Colorus. Shuffle and draw uh, number of cards equal to number of bench sizes. So if your opponent has four, you have five, you get nine. Uh, one Getsis, which can shut down some decks turn one. You Getsis, make them reveal their item cards, shuffle back in their deck, and it's really good. It's also really good to get Sable Garboder. You can kind of shuffle all the item cards back in the deck, kind of beat them that way. Uh, two Guzma, of course. You get Guzma and Ace Roll to kind of. Go with Glissapod as well as 4 VS Seeker as well as 4 Puzzle Time, which is really nice. Uh, one Hex Maniac, just in case you need to shut down abilities, it's really nice. We don't see it in standard anymore, uh, but with Hex, we can shut down, you know, anything we want to, which is really cool. Uh, one Mallow to guarantee 2 cards atop your deck if you need to go that way. Uh, 2 in, and 2 Juniper. Alright, I know you can't see it, but there's the 2 in right there. Look at there. Uh, 2 Choice Man, of course, you need 30 more damage. Uh, 2 Flustone to give that free treat. Especially with that the stand in Zark, you kind of retreat and, and all that kind of good stuff, which is really nice. Uh, four DC and three Grass Energy, and that is going to be the deck. 
Um, I guess the one thing you really had to worry about is that last thing I talked about was the three grass synergies because you do only play the three and you play no super rod, but you do play puzzle time, so it's really interesting. And uh, we're gonna see how this deck works. There's no real reason to keep talking about it. We're gonna go versus. Let's go play and let's go see what Jose's deck is about. So let's flip over to expanded. We're gonna flip over to see. <clears throat> oh, we're going the wrong way. I gotta learn my ABCs, guys. Alrighty. <laughs> uh, Glissazor, I think is what I called it. Yeah, there it is. Alright, so there we go. Right now we have a win streak of zero, but hopefully we get three. And uh, we're going to see how this deck does. I think it does. It has a good shot and expand it right now. Um, Zork is just always a really good deck. So that has a good shot pretty much anywhere, which is really nice. And uh, we're going to see what happens today. And if there's a certain meta deck you want to see and expand it, let me know. We'll definitely try to think, uh, try to cover the best of decks, the best of best decks before Dallas Regionals. Also, because I need to test them out as well. We need to, we need to try to get points at one regional. So we, we didn't get two two points at different regionals. And uh, looks like we're playing against Greninja, maybe Kyogre. Um, we get a Kyogre coin, so something against Kyogre. I don't think it'd be Kyogre. But with this match, we do have Glissopod, which can hit weakness on their, um, obviously their Froakies and stuff, which is really nice. Okay. So, we lost Coin Flip. My opponent's going to go first, of course, but that's fine. They needed well, well set up, and we have two Zoras and a Bridge at turn one. So, we're already looking phenomenal. F phenomenal? Fantastic? Phenomenal? Is that even the right, way to say, right thing to say there? I don't know. Uh, but we're going to get opponent Mulligan. I think they're playing Greninja. Okay, they're not. They're playing some kind of enhanced hammer kind of deck okay well we saw enhanced hammer so definitely not definitely not going to be um yeah it's definitely not going to be a uh, good ninja or it had aqua patch too so maybe nine tails maybe i don't know um if it is nine tails we do have a hex maniac to shut him down so that way we can attack him with our glisspot or zork which is really cool but outside of that, I don't, I don't know. Maybe it is Kyogre, but if it's Kyogre, I think I'm pretty sure it's weak to grass. And so Glisspod just like does 240 to it, which is pretty nice. Okay. Uh, with Bridget, we can just grab like two Wimpods and another Zora. So we'll see a Pokemon going down. And we're going to see what happens here, guys. What does my point, what is my point of plan? That's what I want to know. Yes, we'll draw with Mulligan. Are you kidding me? Of course I do. There's a Chorus and there's a Vulpix. So it is a little Vulpix deck. Alrighty, so there's a Lapras coming out. Lapras is weak to uh, Grass, so that's really good for us. You know, we like to hit for weakness. There's a Water GD active, and we'll we see a Beacon. Okay, just pass on to our turn. Alright, so there's an Ultra Ball. Well, <clears throat> we'll bridge it here, and with the bridge, it will grab, uh, we'll just grab two Whip Pods. How many Gliss Pods in here? So that one, okay, so grab two Gliss Pods, one Zora, we'll put all that down. Um, do we put a DCE down? We are risking our opponent tr could, like, maybe bump it, um, which is the only thing I'm kind of scared about. So, Jingle Press is done right now. No real reason to do anything. Now, what we have to kind of worry about is our opponent has that Ninetales GX. There's a DC going to be active. Uh, okay, so we see the Ninetales come down. This is fine. Like I said, we have the Gutsus. We can, we're good shape. So, there's an Aurora Beam for the Knockout doing 6 damage. Or 80, whatever. Um, which, you know, you're thinking, oh, Lumius Barrier, this is this is terrible. We can't attack, blah, blah, blah. But we're going to be fine here. As long as we deprive our gets us. And we actually have, okay, the other Zora doesn't matter either because we, um, <clears throat> what was I going to say? The other Zora doesn't matter because they don't have a bench either. So we'll discard the Chorus and the Ace Sorella. If anything, we're probably going to discard a bunch of stuff. So it's a Zark GX, okay. Is Hex Maniac in here? That is our next question. And Hex is in here. So we'll grab the Zork. Okay. We'll put the Zork in the active. <clears throat> we'll put a DC attached to it. Uh, Bloodstone the... Uh, we'll trade first. Discard the Getsis. And can we draw a Hex or not? Well, we actually don't even draw a Hex. So there's a Heat Hammer. Discard the DC off the active. We will Bloodstone a Bench Zorar. And then we'll Juniper. Yeah, we do want to hit Hex there because we really can't attack anyway. Uh, we'll put down another Zork, okay. Um, we'll trade. Discarding the Oracorio, we really don't need that. We'll get two new cards. We get a Gliss Pod, we'll put that down. We got a Soda Wood. We're going to Soda Wood right now, and we'll probably have to Dun onto our opponent's turn. Uh, next turn, what we can do is um, Ultra Ball for a Lele. Get what we want to take a Knockout. Even if he bumps our DCE with like an enhanced hammer or something, we can still take a knockout, which is fantastic. We do have the Hex Maniac, which is going to shut down the Lumius Barrier, and we'll be able to take a knockout next turn. 
Uh, water to the active. Okay, there's a max slick there. Gonna try to power up that bench. Lapras doesn't hit anything with that. Okay. <clears throat> and yeah, we'll, okay, so we're gonna take a knockout here. We'll be good to go. So there's a Lele. Oh, top decks. All right, so put down Soda Widow. We'll put down the uh, Lele. Winter tag. Yes, we'll grab ourselves a Hex Maniac. And now we'll go ahead and knock out this Nine Tails, and we should be good to go from here. So grab the Hex, put a DC on the Glisspod, play the Hex Maniac, and go for that Riotous Beating. I guess we should have traded first. Definitely just like got really happy. We should have traded away the Ultra Ball. And there's some opponent can see the game. Uh, pretty much nothing else they could really do there. I mean, they can promote the Lapras next turn, but I don't think they really had a hand of anything. Or maybe they just realized how bad that matchup was. I should have saw what was in the deck. That's what I should have did. Uh, but there we go. Hex Maniac showing that, hey, it does matter. Hex really does matter. Because we pr probably would have lost that game. Um, especially if he, like, had the one bench, like, our Zark would never take a knockout and we'd be in trouble. Like, maybe Execute punches him. Like, that's our only real way outside of that. So, that's, that's good. That's good. We did prize our, our Hex. Zark wouldn't have mattered because, like I said, they, you know, they had the one bench, so we wouldn't have done too much. Then they would have, like, enhanced him and maybe rough seas and all that kind of stuff. So, that's a good win there for us. And there we, here we go round number two. But I think it's Dark to Zora? I don't know how to say their name. Uh, but he's still got a dark deck. I don't care. Whatever, man. Just hit me, whatever. Dark to Zora. Dark to Zero. There we go. There we go, Josh. There you go. Learn how to English today. Alright, so we won the coin flip. Fantastic. Yes, we'll go first. Trying to get swinging uh, turn number one. Alright, so we got Soda Widow. Oh, press done. Did we start Soda Widow? Uh, I'm not going to start it just right now. I'm just going to hold on to it and see what we draw into. I mean, Soda Widow is always just good to draw. Put your point down to four. It's really nice. Uh, so we got a dark deck, okay, and oh dark with skyfield. Oh, baby That's really good for us because they dropped the skyfield. We could take a knockout on them. Wow They can't really do anything Okay, yes the two Okay, there's an ace roller juniper press done. I don't want to put on the soda water just yet. Okay, there's an execute That's not good to draw into either um, Okay, well well, we'll press done. Um, we'll go play another game. If you don't know that matchup, uh, just to let you know, Zark destroys Darkrai. Like, it's it's so fast. Like, it's not even close. It's not even a good match, um, for sure. Like, it's not even good. Especially when they drop the Skyfield and we drop Set of Wudo, they're in trouble because we can limit their bench down to four while we have unlimited. I don't know if he played a Set of Wudo in his deck. Obviously, we didn't see much of it. Uh, but we'll see another game. That doesn't count as game number two. Come on, guys. We know that for sure. So, on a game number two, opponent gets Emmanuel. Uh, we have a two-win streak now. But he's playing some kind of psychic deck, which kind of scares me. Because if it's like a quad um, Wabafet deck, we could be in trouble. Um, that's definitely a deck we would kind of be scared of. Oh, it's Trevnet. Okay, so Trevnet uh, versus Zark. Okay, let's see here. How does this matchup play out? I, I, I don't know. Um, definitely Trevenant's like one of the better decks in Expanded right now. Especially because like, you know, these Zark decks are running around. They only have 4 DC. And once their 4 DCs are gone, then that's it. Um, but our hand is pretty good. Starting out, uh, we've got Azora. We've got Acerola. we got Zark. And, like, we have we have Bridget. Um, the scary thing for Trevenant is that it has 120 HP. So Glisspot can easily knock it out. And he starts with Oracorio, which is not good to start with ever. All right, so we'll bridge it here. We'll grab two Zoras and a uh, Wimpod. I almost went for a Glisspod for some reason. <laughs> we'll put a DC on a bench Zora just case. Well, I guess it really doesn't matter in hindsight. So put a DC in the active, and we'll just press done. Yeah, I really that does. I guess we could have grasped the Wimpod, but I'm scared. I don't know. If you play Crush Namor, then that doesn't really matter. So Necrozma coming down. Necrozma does have Psychic Weakness. Um, okay. So there's a Sycamore discarding his hand. Discards two enhanced hammers. Woo! Alright, so that's good news for us. Uh, but like I said, the thing about this Trevor deck is that they play multiple um, enhanced hammers. But pass on to our turn. We already have a phenomenal start. And we hit uh, Mallow. So, well, Mallow, ooh, but we have to watch out. Because um, he's got this Necrozma. Necrozma has that Prasmatic Burst, or the Black White GX. Um, which can smack all of our Pokemon for 108 damage. So I really don't want to put down a bunch of Zarks next turn. As much as I hate to say that. <laughs> uh, so we're going to down a Zark. Okay. We will Mallow. And what I'm going to do is put a Egg and a Glisspod on top of our deck. 
Do we put egg or not? I don't think so. I don't think the egg's very good of a play. I think I'd rather just grab another Zork and or another Zora maybe, like to thin our deck down. That's fine, I think. Yeah, I'll grab another those two. Okay. We will trade, uh, discard an Ace or I'll draw two new cards. So we get a Necrozma. Okay. Wait. No. Okay. So we'll put it down the Gliss Pod. <clears throat> Do we put down Zora? Yeah, I'll put down Zora. We'll put a Grass Energy to Gliss Pod. We'll retreat and go with the first impression attack. All right. So first press for the knockout. Okay. And what could happen is if we find a choice band, we can actually knock on the Necrozma next turn. There's a Bredrick going in our hand, which we really don't care too much about. All right. So on our opponent's turn, if we find a, like I said, we find a, um, a, a choice band, we take a knockout this turn. So there's Crushing Hammer and it's Tells. All right. So that's good. Also, turn one, he discarded the Crush Hammer, so it's probably really nice that we didn't uh, discard all that stuff turn one. Okay, so is he Dimension Valley coming down, which makes it where he has one less uh, energy to attack. So right now, he can Black Raid GX, but it'll only hurt the Glisspod and the Bench Zoroark, so that's really good for us. And just pass on to our turn. All right, so let's puzzle time. Let's rearrange top three cards of our deck. And there's an Ultra Ball. All right, put Ultra Ball, Glisspod, and the uh, Rescue Stretcher. Okay, we will Zork trade, discard the Bridget, draw two new cards. Okay, so we hit Ultra Ball. Okay, so we'll Ultra Ball, discard the Glyphopod and the Grass Energy. My phone's ringing. All right, so let's see here. We can grab a Lele and Sekimore and try to hit um one of the, like, we have one choice band. I think it's still worth it though, so I'm gonna grab a Lele, okay. We'll put DCC active, Lele for Sycamore, and just hope we hit a um, a choice band. Yeah, so that's where we're gonna go here. We go for Sy we're going for Juniper. We're gonna discard our hand, draw seven new cards. Can we find a choice band? We also have more Zorks that we could trade with, and we find a choice band. So we have the knockout. All oh, right, there we go. So we'll get the crossing cut GX, uh, taking the knockout, sending the Zork, and we will win that game. All right. So there's 180 damage, proving that Glisspod, you know, it's still a very good attacker. Uh, all right, so we'll go to game number three. That was just kind of weird by my opponent, but that's what happens with Trevenant sometimes. Even if they went like the Trevenant route and got Trevenant set up, we would have like a turn two, like knock out Glisspod, and then like we could have cross and cut GX maybe. And here comes um, a dark fighting deck. All right, so here we go. This is game number three, guys. I can't really play too much longer. I just got back from work. I don't have that much time, but I think this deck is like phenomenal. I think it's really good. And it looks like they're playing Dark Rye. Oh man, oh, we both mulligan, all right. So let's just say, if, if, that was a pretty good hand. All right, so let's see here. Here's a new hand. All right, so another great hand. So it looks like we're playing Dark, okay. So maybe we'll see how the Dark match goes. We'll press Done. We got the Wimp Pod. Um, we can bridge it for three Zoras, and we have DCE next turn. I don't think Mew's gonna be that useful. So we'll put down the Wimp Pod. We'll press done, and we just gotta hope they're not playing a Glade in their deck. But I think it is Subtle Widow, not Glade. All right, so there's Darkrai coming down. All right, so here we go, guys. How does this Dark matchup play? Here you can see a Battle Compressor. Go ahead and discard three cards out of their deck, and let's see what do they dis discard here. Probably with some Dark Energies. They have Dark Patch, which gets Dark Energies out of the discard pile and attached to one of the Pokemon, which is really nice. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited to see how this matchup is going to go. Now, if he drops uh, Subtle Woodle here, I don't really care too much about that. They receive a discard at Getsus, Sycamore, and a Darkrai. If he does go for Getsus here, he's going to be really upset because our hand is one choice ban. <laughs> okay, there's Getsus for a choice ban. Uh-oh. <laughs> And you know he's not happy about this. There's no way you, you're excited about that. Uh, so you see Darkrai coming down. Okay. Looks like he hit a Darkrai. There's a Shaman. Going to set it for two cards. Also a Shaman. That's an easy knockout. One, one 10 HP. We get Guzma to take a knockout, which is really nice with our Glisspod. We see a Dark Energy going to Dark Force Darkrai. That is going to be his main attacker. And pass onto our turn. We top deck Azora. Oh my goodness. Just keep giving us good stuff. So we'll grab. I think we want to grab two Zoras and another Wimpod. Um, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so we'll grab those. We will retreat into a Zora. 
and just pass for right now. Uh, yes, he, I mean, maybe he should have got a Zork. Uh, Zork just case takes a knockout. But well, I think we're fine here. So there's a VS Seeker. So you're going to go for a Sigma. Okay, Sigmar this turn. Okay, so Sigmar going to his hand. He went for that turn one, gets this, and it didn't pay off. Like, he was like, all right, gets this. And we're like, nope. Oh, my goodness. He discarded two Dark Patches. And he plays, oh, that's a nice looking delinquent. Wait, we have that delinquent. What am I talking about? We have that card. <laughs> all right, so those are Max Luxor. I wonder if he plays Skyfield. We got to hope he plays Skyfield. If he does, we can take a knockout fairly easily on him, which is nice. Dark Energy Deactive. Okay. Retreat to Darkrai, 20, 40, 60, 80. He's going to take a knock on here, uh, going out of five price cards. That's fine. We'll set up our Zora. We'll put a Zorg, DCE, and Juniper. <laughs> there we see another Juniper going in our hand. Great. So Zorg, DCE, and I'm just going to Juniper. I'm not going to trade right now. Definitely going to hold on to it and just wait a second. And there we see a Settle Widow, a Dark K. Okay, so we'll put down Settle Widow. We will Ultra Ball, discard the Mallow, and the Grass Energy. Maybe we should... Uh, I mean, I, we just got Ice Roll, I mean. Sorry. Uh, we'll grab the Egg. We'll go for Trade to discard the Egg. There we see Colors and Wimpod. We'll put down the Wimpod, and we will just riot his beating for 120. So we are setting up a two-shot on this Darkrai. And oh, the only problem is we, we limit our bench to only two Zorks. We only play... Two glitch spots, but that's I think it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're good. There's a darker come down. Okay. Okay. I think we're fine here. I think I think I'm freaking out about nothing. So Max Elixir not gonna find anything. Okay. Cause we limit his bench, so now he only have three or four. He can maybe get one more. Is that another dark patch? Why did he end that turn? Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's not looking good for Mota. He has three Dark Patches in this card pile. He has two Max Luxes already gone. Um, he has Douse Machine. We saw it in his deck when he mulliganed. There's his third Max Luxer. Okay. Uh, show me the Max Luxer. There we go. So Dark into Dark Ride. Does he have an Energy Attachment for turn? If he does, he can switch to this Dark Ride swing this turn. All right, so Dark Energy there. <laughs> Let's see what else does he decide to do. There's a Douse Machine. Okay, let's see. Maybe get a Dark Patch. Maybe another Max Luxor. There's a bunch of things he can grab here. This card's a Skyfield. No, he has Skyfield. He didn't put it down. No. Oh, man. Maybe we shouldn't have dropped the set of Udo. We should have gave him the encouragement to uh, to bench more stuff. So we see a Max Luxor going to his hand. Okay. So we see a Retreat to Darkrai. He is going to punch us here. But we do have, like... Double puzzle for like another Ace Sorola if we need to. Um, so we see Dark Pulse. Okay, dude, 140. Not taking a knockout just yet. Onto our turn. We find a Ultra Ball. Alrighty, so we could Mallow, but I want to Ace Sorola this turn, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to <clears throat> Propagate. Okay. I am going to trade, uh, discard the Execute, draw two new cards. See what we find here. There's a Flowstone and a Tapu Lele. Okay, so I'm going to trade again or propagate. <clears throat> I'm going to Ultra Ball, discard the Mallow and the Execute to grab another Zork. Okay, we'll put down the Zork. We will propagate again and go for another trade. Okay, so go for trade or propagate trade. This is a good thing about execute. You can kind of abuse it over and over again. So grab the execute. We'll trade, discard the execute, draw two new cards. Can we find a VS Seeker? I don't want to waste my puzzle times, and we do find a VS Seeker. So, well, VS Seeker for an Ace Rolla. I don't want to put down the DC just yet. I don't want him to know they have two DCs in our hand. So Ace Rolla the active. We'll set up the Zork. Uh, put down a Zora. DC to the active. And we will riotous beating for 120 damage. Not taking a knockout, but we still have double puzzle. In which double puzzle can get us a VS Seeker and an Ace Roll back next turn, which is really nice. Like we get double puzzle for the VS Seeker and Ace Roll. Ace Roll, they have VS Seeker for the following turn, which is really cool with a play you could do with an expanded deck. And uh, now Pawn has two Dark Rides with 120 damage on him. We have no damage on our side of the field. Yeah, he can maybe Guzma take a knockout on like a 90x or like whatever. Uh, but then we see a VS Seeker. Does he grab Getsus here? Getsus could be really good. And nope, there's an end instead. Uh, Getsus would have got him, got, <laughs> would have got rid of two of our puzzles, which is uh, 
Really good for him if he would have did that. But we'll see it in. We get six new cars. Then we see Ultra Ball. We see a Zark. Um, really doesn't matter. Our hand is really good. And I don't I don't even know who he can attack with this turn. Um, yeah. So the Dark Knight's Advanced Dark Eye. Okay. We see he treats to the Dark Eye. We see a Dark Pulse here. Uh, do it a 90 and 30 to a bench Pokemon. Let's see. Where does the 30 go to? Maybe the Zora on the bench? And no, on the Gliss Pod. Okay. Or the One Pod. Sorry. So on our turn, we find a DC. Okay. <clears throat> so we can Propagate. Uh, we could go Guzma and knock out one of the bench guys, but I think we want to deal damage to the active again and just try to, like, um, go for the Ace Roll play again. So Ultra Ball, discard the Agon Zork to grab a Zork GX. And once again, we're looking for a VS Seeker, something like that. So we'll Propagate, putting the Egg back in our hand. Uh, we will trade the Execute Away, draw two new cards. Can we find another VS Seeker Puzzle Time? Okay, the Zark. Uh, put down the Zark GX. Man, I hate that we put three one pods down. That's definitely a misplay on my part. But we'll propagate again. We will trade. Discarding the egg again. We're looking for an Ace Roll. I mean, a VS Sticker or Puzzle Time. Can we find one of those? And we don't. All right. So, we could go Guzma. We can um, just put a Dece in the bench and swing. Um, we'll put a, yeah, put a Dece in the bench. And we're just going to swing right now. Riot is beating for 120. Now he has three guys kind of set up ready to be knocked out. Uh, he has no more max. Well, he has one max social left and one dark patch. So that could maybe impact the game just a little bit. But there we see Ultra Ball. Uh, discarding in and a dark energy. Okay. Can he find another dark pulse dark ray? That's kind of what he needs this turn. But after that, what we could start doing. Oh, we see Ultra Ball for nothing. That means he prized like a dark ray or something. Um, there we see Restoration, going to get the Dark Eye out, put a Dark Energy on it. How many Dark Energies does Discard Ball? Uh, just the one, okay. Why don't I said we would have just, like, just light up? That was really weird. Alright, so VS Seeker, let's see what he goes for here. Maybe an in? Okay, no, go for second more, okay. I mean, he's taking a, oh, he actually is not taking a knockout. He has to set up one of the damage Dark Eyes. And there we see the fourth Dark Patch being discarded. So he has no more Dark Patches left, which is great for us. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, he he has to find a max elixir and a dark energy to swing with this dark ray to do one thirty for the knockout. That's the only way he can take a knockout. And even after that, what we can start doing is uh going for knockouts on his bench with our new Zork. If we want to go that way, I think we have pretty good chances of winning. There's a dark ray coming up. Was we'll he dark pulse for the knockout? Um, yep, yeah, dark pulse for the knockout. Do a two hundred. Okie dokie. So going out of three price cards. We'll send up Zark on our turn. Um, we find a Zora. So put down the Zora. We will propagate. We're going to trade once. What we're looking for here is an N. So trade, discard the egg, draw two new cards. So we're looking for an N. Okay, there's a VS Seeker, but there's no N in our discard pile. So we'll put a Grass Energy on a Bench Wimpod. And... We'll just go for the Riot is beating for the knockout. Okay, do 120. And uh, what we could do next turn is maybe find a Gliss Pod. A, we already have a, a Choice Band DC in our hand. All we need to find is a Gliss Pod, which might be kind of hard to do next turn. Here comes Dark Rai. Dark Rai is not taking a knockout. This Dark Rai is not taking a knockout either. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. He's only doing 160. Uh, attach an energy. Oh, he can attach an energy. Uh, choice Band take a knockout and then have this guy left to go. All right, so we might be in a little bit of trouble, for sure. So there's a Hoopa. Okay, I don't, I don't care about Hoopa. He's just standing against that guy right now, I think, is what's happening, is what we're seeing. That's what I would take, I guess. But if he doesn't take a knockout here, it's definitely game. Like, there's no way. Like, we're taking a knockout no matter what next turn. We got Guzma. We got another Zork. We got a DCE. He has to in and take a knockout. So there's a Lele. Okay, let's see what the Lele finds with the winner tag. Uh, he's already played one in. No, two in, okay. So there we see in. Okay, he's in us down to he's in himself down to three. Let's see, what does he find here? Can he find the cards to take a knockout? So there's a dark energy, dark eye, okay. Does he have a laser? There's an in. Alright, so he's put us down to four. He's gonna get three. Does he find a laser off these three cards to take a knockout this turn? 
So we find choice bed. Okay, wow. This is a really good hand. So I trade the dark eye, okay. And he finds the laser. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Can't even be mad. Dark cleave for the knockout here. All right, so now it's on to us. So set up Wimp Pod. All right, uh, we have to find a DCE this turn. So we find a Lele. So put down a Zark. Oh my goodness, that might be game because he. Oh no, he has four VS Seekers gone and one Guzma. Okay, now he has two Guzma down. Down. down okay, so put a Choice Bill on the active. I think we're gonna VS Seeker for Sycamore and just dig for a DCE. Or Juniper, sorry. So grab Juniper, we'll play the Juniper, discard our hand, draw 70 cards. Okay, we'll put down the Zork. Wow, do we miss it? We'll trade, discard the Bridget. Do we find a DCE? And we do find a DCE, right, so put a DCE in the active. We'll go for Crossing Cut GX. Um, Yeah. So set up the Zork. We'll take a knockout. Also, it's good that we draw into the Zork, because if we didn't, we'd definitely be in trouble. Um, yeah. So this is a computer search and rescue stretcher going to our hand. Okay. Does he have a Guzma, a Lysander? Uh, he's down four VS Seekers already. Okay. This is more closer than I thought it was going to be. There's an Ultra Ball. Okay. Discarding those two. Does he have a Lele for Lysander? That would be insane to see. Man, he hit the laser. And I was like, what? He hit a laser? Are you kidding me? Um, there's a Shaman. Okay. Oh, man. There's a laser. I don't care about laser. That doesn't matter. So he plays two laser. We know that for sure. Okay. We see Shaman. Got a set of five new cards. Does he have a Lysander deck? If not, we have Guzma in hand. There's a Restoration. I don't, I don't care about... Re okay, so he's not Shaming in this turn, which means he doesn't have another Guzma. He doesn't have VS Seeker, unless he's, like, slow playing us, and he does have the Knockout. And there's Sycamore. That is going to be game. The opponent is going to go to zero cards, uh, no matter what. But we have Guzma in hand. We can knock out whoever. I don't think there's a way he can take a knockout. We can Guzma, bring up a Shaman to punch it for 120, and that is going to be the game. We see a Dark Energy go to Dark Eye. doesn't matter. Wait, one, wait, hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 160, 170. Does he have a choice band? Whoa. Oh, man. Oh, no. Choice band wouldn't have done it either. He needed uh, one more dark and a choice band. All right. So, on our turn, we'll just Guzma, bring up a Shaman, send him our pod, and we'll punch it for a first impression and knock out our boy Shebe. All right. So, first impression for the knockout. And there we go, guys. That was a really, really close game. The end for three hitting the. <laughs> the laser was insane uh, but guys there you go there's expanded glitch spot zark hopefully you enjoyed this video uh hit that subscribe button make sure you go like the Facebook page like i said you go like like it you go talk, talk about your favorite deck of fan friday and maybe your deck will win but guys hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching hit that subscribe button Alrighty, bye